Hello my friends, I hope you came here for a new dose of farming simulator. I know I am, I keep coming back to this game, uh, because for me, as I said many times, it's relaxing, uh, it doesn't require lots, 100% uh, of uh, my attention, and it's actually fun. And as we discovered recently, there's still no replacement for this game, unfortunately. Lots and lots of attempts um, for the last years, but uh, it's more like uh, hit and misses. Okay, so in previous episode, although we didn't have commentary, we achieved uh, tier 12, and today we are continuing with this tier. Uh, if the number of pigs per trailer looks strange to you, 447, uh, it's because uh, it's my mistake. It should be 38 times 12, which is 456. Uh, but you have to... <clears throat> now it's not that easy to edit these uh, animal trailers as it used to be. You have to add each uh, pig manually. So it's uh, basically copy-paste, copy-paste, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I did a mistake, but no worry, we can operate this trailer as there are. <clears throat> as usual, uh, because the price is right, I'm selling uh, a lot of meat, this time for 2.2 millions, that's a lot, our payouts for um, uh, these loads of products keep increasing because uh, <clears throat> the capacity of the trailer obviously is getting uh, bigger and bigger. As you can see, the price of the meat is still rising. That's because we um, fast forward. Because after you sell one load, it goes down, and then if you're lucky, it goes up again. If not, it may go down even more. And if my voice sounds a little bit uh, strange for you and deeper, it's because I just woke up. And I'm still drinking my coffee. This time we're going for a load of sausages. And also we'll have to deliver another load of pigs, because you can see we have almost 6,000. Now we can monitor the production of uh, products of meat, but the prices now is not are not good, so <clears throat> we'll do it another time. Although I must I must say for uh, what it is is uh, sausages, it's quite high. No, it's for meat. This I think will 
will be our biggest sellout because the price is over 6000 we'll see in a moment Two point four millions. Great. Sausages are going up over five thousand. So this windrower is uh, windrowing the leftovers of the grass on the field because I don't want to leave them. Sometimes I'm chipping out. So now each combine will have its field because I'm going to re record the courses uh, of which combine, each combine, uh, because obviously I'm going to need the straw. one of those times when you have to take care of the needs of your animals as you can see especially cows now are all in yellow and pigs are in red for straw Look at this, 174,000 liters just from one combine. <clears throat> now well, that's the power of tears. As you saw, I still have problems getting out <clears throat> of the cow barn, sometimes. Ok, 
Okay, um, pigs and ships needs are taken care of. Almost. Because ships still need uh, uh, hay or uh, grass. I had just a little bit of grass in my silos, and a little bit I mean 220,000 liters, <coughs> which is not very much by current standards. We're gonna need a lot, lot more for uh, for the cows. As you can see now, a triple load of milk amounts for over 2 million liters. If you remember on our Huda Huda range um, map series, milk was the most, um, the biggest uh, uh, source of money. I think now we have even more cows than we had back then. In terms of pigs, uh, we still haven't got there. If you remember when we finished the Mustang Bell Range series, I think we had over 13,000 uh, pigs at the end. But back then we uh, used to just sell them not processing into meat and sausages. This time I haven't forgot to <clears throat> fertilize the grass because previously I forgot and I had a, a lower yield than normal.
You see, this tractor has made already so many passes and only 55, uh, 57 uh, thousand liters of grass because these are just leftovers. Although this particular windrow has more grass than the others. And I'm driving along <coughs> uh, that tractor just to make sure that they don't hit each other. One load went into the silos and the other directly to the mixer. As you can see, the uh, windrows of uh, straw now have some uh, volume because when a track, uh, or, track uh, or a tractor stepped on them, uh, it goes up a little bit. Because they used to be just, uh, you know, just, just the image of windrows without uh, any substance. Now it's uh, more physical. And they hit each other. <laughs> I was hoping this will not happen, but they still hit each other. That's what happens when you don't monitor your uh, equipment. But don't worry, the, uh, the AI helper from Pure Farming is even worse. I hope when I'll start making uh, more videos on pure farming, you'll see, because it's bad. <laughs> it has problems by its own, you know, to operate uh, the equipment. I don't even imagine what would happen if they would hit each other. Although this will be difficult because um, the game does not allow two AIs on the same field. And I guess we all understand why. Because if by its own it has problems, you know, with another AI this could be destructive. Especially because in pure farming they have this damage model. So they don't want their AI to be uh, the cause of uh, your vehicle's damage. Especially in the recent news of um, 
fatal accidents with uh, self-driving cars from different manufacturers. Yeah, so I guess we'll finish this episode uh, when we finish both uh, harvesting both uh, fields. Just two more windrows. And here I will have to tell you, as usual, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, then give a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or just have, want to say something, leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe before you go. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.